hello angels and welcome back to my channel it is mama savvy here up close and personal today for this video this video is especially crafted for the health conscious mommy and you I really appreciate you watching if this is your first time here and you want to be an angel go ahead and subscribe to my video that notification button is the right thing to do as well I post videos every Tuesday at 7 p.m. that is my commitment to you all now this is sort of a sensitive topic I was going back and forth debating in my head whether I should record this video or not because there is such a lack of my side of this argument I want to say on YouTube but ultimately I decided to do this because the video of my four month shot check up with baby savvy reached a certain threshold of engagement that was acceptable for me to feel like people are interested and people are gathering some information from what I am sharing so I've decided to move forward at this point I'm sure some of you may know where this is going I do not believe in herd immunity and in the future I will be exercising my religious exemption when it comes to vaccines. So disclaimer, this video is not at all to make anyone pro-vaccine, anti-vaccine, or to inflame those sides of the argument at all. I am simply expressing myself and my decision at this time for educational purposes. Herd immunity or community immunity, I think I said group immunity in my last video. The idea that I am referring to is the concept that if everyone who can and is able to get vaccinated gets vaccinated, then communicable diseases like polio, measles, rubella and a list of the I don't even know how many diseases will ultimately be eradicated from our society and scientifically it is explained much better on an array of different videos on YouTube so if you want more background information on what I'm referring to you can go find a video on YouTube that will explain it in much more detail than I am willing to get into I'm not gonna lie and say that I've read every piece of literature on the subject but I have done my research and if no one else is willing to speak out about it on YouTube for fear of pro-vaccinators being in their comments, then I will. I clearly understand both sides of the argument and there are countless amounts of videos on YouTube to debunk my side of the argument. The only argument that people can't really say against my personal beliefs is that I'm putting other children in harm's way by not choosing to get my daughter vaccinated and I just want to say the same can be true for yourself or your children who you choose to get vaccinated because vaccination is just not complete immunity to all diseases. You can still contract diseases with the vaccination and you can still spread diseases with vaccination. If you watched my four month shot checkup with Baby Savvy, you can see in that video that I am expressing the fact that I'm going to follow the minimum requirement for the state of Illinois for the shots that I have to get that are mandated by law that I have to get for my child to enter child care and school in the future. I'm going to follow those requirements and no other schedule. This is our alternative shot method. I gathered this approach from my own faith and more specifically the verses in the Bible of Matthew 17 verses 27 to about 35 where Jesus is entering Rome and he notices that people are paying taxes to Caesar and he says lest we offend them then I'm going to go ahead and pay my taxes and he commands his disciples to go get the tax money out the mouth of a fish and to pay the taxes so nobody is offended in Rome and accusing him pretty much of breaking the law. So with that same stance in mind, I approached vaccines with my faith being Christ-like, trying not to offend anyone, trying not to be accused of doing anything illegal. But my initial stance was to take a middle ground on the topic. I was only going to commit to what is mandated to me by law to do. Unfortunately, which I anticipated, my pediatrician for my daughter didn't really agree. She was hesitant to move forward with those minimum shots with me, but she did administer those shots up until our nine month checkup, which was earlier this month. In between her four month and nine month shots, I did go back. I was spacing out those minimal requirements and I only did two shots at a time. So for her four month shots, she had two. In between her four month and nine month shots, I returned to the doctor's office and she got two more from a nurse. 
but for her nine month shots there was none on the minimal requirement sheet that I had to give her and at that point she decided to decline to see my child any further because I refused to go with her recommendations and I was only going to commit to about eight shots to the eight shots that are required by law in Illinois for my child to get by the age of one versus the 35 or so odd shots that she suggested. Really okay with her decision to refuse to care. I don't want anyone to be forced to do anything with their career choices. On my behalf, I would much rather go with someone who was willing to work with me and we didn't see eye to eye on other instances when it came to my child's health. This video is not to convince anybody to be anti-vaccine. That is not my objective. I just want to be able to freely express myself here on this platform and to also exercise my religious liberty. Now, my faith comes into play in many ways throughout the scriptures. The verse of Romans 13 verses 1 through 2 is pretty relevant in this case. It reads, Obey the government. For God is the one who put it there. There is no government anywhere that God has not placed in power. So those who refuse to obey the law of the land are refusing to obey God and punishment will follow. Legally, I will not be breaking any laws by choosing not to vaccinate my child. And this verse is not even restricted to any time or place because it says anywhere where the government is established god has pretty much established it and here in illinois i have the freedom to exercise my religious liberty and i will be doing so knowing that as the bible says that no weapon formed against me and my daughter shall prosper i will be exercising my liberty with faith and by the stripes that were placed on jesus we are healed and finally i just want to make the point that god did not give us the spirit of fear. Some people may think I am being fearful towards vaccines and their outcomes by not allowing my child to receive a vaccination any further in her life, but that is not true. What I would do is take that a step further and say, no, I am not being fearful to any disease. Instead, I'm deciding to put on the full armor of God and to move forward with this process for me and my daughter. I am not a healthcare provider. I am not leaning on a scientific explanation of this subject at all my stance is downright rooted in faith in my god so that is pretty much it for me i do want to thank you all for watching i'm sorry my serious face looks so mean so the next video to follow will be me hopefully finding a physician who is willing to work with me showing you all the process of expressing my religious freedoms here in this country of the land of the free and the brave or however it goes so again, I appreciate you all watching and watching to the very end. I want to encourage you all to stay in your faith, in your beliefs. And as always, I pray for you all that you continue to live your blessed life. Thanks for watching. Bow.